Heads up, looks like we got a white truck approaching the checkpoint. Let's check it out. Let's see what he wants, guys. The most important aspect of this training scenario is combining live, virtual, and constructive elements in the same uh, environment. The biggest challenge that we're addressing here is the complexity of a scenario, whereas existing trainers are very narrowly focused on a certain skill, not the, not the overall engagement. Sir, we got a military-aged uh, male just jumped out of the truck. He's going behind that van. Is he armed? No visual, sir. Mixed reality is especially effective for training simulations because it has full body immersion. There are walls there that you may have to hide behind, there are uh, creep around, look around, it's engaging your whole body. You can do robotics, you can do ground troops, you can do air support if you need to, and they can all be cohesive in the same training application. When the military brings in soldiers to train, often they bring them to a mount site. After a day or two though, this gets old and a little bit stale. Whereas if you train in a virtual environment or a simulated environment, you can train all over the place, you can train anytime you want, it's much more effective. So we have virtual environments, we have visualization environments, we have physical environments, real robots, real people, and they're all hooked up in one visual simulation. A signal comes from the trigger that has been pulled. A projectile is then created in the virtual environment. We send it to our central server. Our central server looks at it, processes it appropriately, sends it in like the probably half dozen different protocols that all the different systems need, and sends it out to everybody so that people in, the, in different environments then see the bullet go. Now we can go back and collect all this data and say, oh, the reason that you made that mistake and got killed that time was you were looking in the wrong direction when this happened and this person should be doing this. We have a wealth of information we can, we can mine and tune those training scenarios to specifically to help.